The training of flight engineers for the Tu-214 aircraft is being actively restarted by Russia through the recently established Aviation Training Center, Academy 033, which is located near Kazan. This center provides training for 39 aviation personnel programs, including a specialized course for flight engineers of the Tu-214 and is equipped with modern simulator systems. The Federal Air Transport Agency, Rosaviatsia, is presently approving the training program for these flight engineers, which was developed in collaboration with Red Wings Airline. This initiative is in alignment with Russia's intention to increase serial production of the 2214 beginning in 2025. The objective is to satisfy the requirements of national operators, including Red Wings, Aeroflot, and UVT Aero, which have already placed orders for this aircraft. Historically, the Tu-214 and earlier Tu-204 variants were crewed by flight engineers who were important due to the relatively low level of automation in comparison to modern airliners. The flight engineer is responsible for the manual operation of several aircraft systems alongside the commander and co-pilot. Nevertheless, the 2214's modernization plans incorporate the automation of the flight engineer's position to eventually achieve a two-pilot cockpit. Nevertheless, the flight engineer station will continue to be maintained in current aircraft deliveries, which will require the implementation of new training programs for the position. The first crews of flight engineers who operated the existing Tu-214 and Tu-204 fleet in Russia were typically recruited from experienced aviation personnel who were trained during the Soviet era and early post-Soviet years. This was a time when multi-crew cockpits with flight engineers were common. This training was conducted at technical colleges and aviation institutions that are affiliated with significant aviation hubs such as Moscow and Kazan. Flight engineer training programs were largely discontinued or phased out as newer airliners with fully automated cockpits, two-pilot crew, became the standard worldwide over time. Due to its legacy cockpit design, the Tu-214 requires a three-person crew to operate, resulting in a current shortage of qualified flight engineers. The absence of recent flight engineer training prior to Academy 33 is consistent with the general global and Russian trend of abandoning this personnel role in commercial aviation since the late 20th century. Flight engineers have not been required for most modern Russian and international airliners, especially newer models like the Sukhoi Superjet 100 or the MC-21 since the 1990s or early 2000s. The reintroduction of flight engineer training for the Tu-214 is a revival of a profession that had nearly vanished in Russian civil aviation since the 1990s. This decision was driven by the 2214's dependence on a three-crew system. The flight engineer's main duty is to supervise and regulate the complex mechanical and electrical systems of the aircraft during the flight. This involves the inspection and regulation of engines, fuel, pressurization, air conditioning, hydraulics, electrics, and other critical systems to guarantee their safe and efficient operation. The flight engineer is responsible for actively controlling many systems that would otherwise be automated, as the 2214 has a lower level of automation than modern airliners. The flight engineer reviews the flight plan, which includes fuel requirements and operational checks, prior to the flight to ensure that the aircraft is in a safe state to complete the flight. They continuously monitor system parameters, including engine performance, cabin pressure, electrical loads, and fuel consumption during flight. In the event of any malfunctions or irregularities, they diagnose the problem and provide the pilots with guidance on corrective actions or make manual adjustments as needed. Flight engineers work together closely with the pilot and co-pilot in a coordinated team effort, ensuring that the system status, environmental conditions, and any technical concerns are communicated. They often assume the main role in systems management and troubleshooting, providing critical support during takeoff, landing, and emergency situations.
Their proficiency enables pilots to concentrate on the operation of the aircraft while simultaneously guaranteeing that all technical systems operate at their optimum efficiency. During emergencies, the flight engineer is responsible for the management of aircraft systems to ensure the safety of the aircraft, which includes the regulation of fuel distribution, engine throttles, and other critical components. They guarantee the stability of cabin pressure and environmental systems and can aid pilots in the completion of duties that may be challenging or impossible to complete while they are flying the aircraft. In general, the flight engineer is a key crew member who is accountable for the technical health and operational safety of the 2214's aircraft systems. They provide hands-on monitoring, control, and problem-solving on a flight deck that necessitates more manual intervention than completely automated flying systems. This development is indicative of Russia's overarching strategy to sustain and enhance domestic aircraft production by revitalizing legacy aircraft and personnel roles to circumvent technology constraints and foreign component dependence. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.